when you want to see the Eiffel Tower move closely, just grab it. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Rajanga Singh here, and I welcome you all in today's very new, cool, exciting tutorial. And this time, we'll grab, we'll grab this Eiffel Star from France. And for that, I have to go to France. And I think it's time for my flight. So see you guys in France. Bye bye. Uh, so sorry guys, actually I did not have that much budget to go to France and then shoot the video. So the best alternative way is always use green screen. So, but you also need uh, to buy uh, this, um, uh, this uh, Eiffel Tower souvenir. I bought this from Amazon for rupees 300, that is US dollars, uh, 4.5 US dollars. Uh, so we'll use this green screen and this little souvenir to shoot this video. So to shoot this video first, put a green screen on a wall. Now put your Eiffel Tower souvenir on some height like here I am using this round bucket on an air cooler to place my Eiffel Tower. Now turn on the video recording and start your acting. Superb! Now let's bring this clip in After Effects. So as you know we are doing a green screen shoot so we definitely need an Eiffel Tower background. If we use Google images uh, it's for sure gonna look fake. So I just found a website which gives free to use video footages and it's called video.net. So I found this Eiffel Tower background from that website for free. And you can also download it from there and link is in the description box. Also I have done some changes on my background. So you can download my background also which I have just uh, improved, improvised. So it's your wish. And to make this cool effect we just have simple four steps. First, prepare a rough cut. Second, morphing. Third, chroma keying. Fourth, hand roto. So to make a rough cut, let's first bring our background in our composition. And as you can see, there's Eiffel Tower here. And when we'll complete this video, we don't want this Eiffel Tower to be here. We need clean area in place of this Eiffel Tower. So let's do that first. Duplicate this background layer. Rename it to Clean BG. Go to Composition, Save Frame as Photoshop Layers. Rename it to For Cleanup and Save. Now we'll go back to our folder and open that file in Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, select this polygonal lasso tool and simply select the area of this Eiffel Tower. Nice. Now right click, fill, contents to content aware and hit OK. So we just have got a clean background but we need to make some adjustments also. Actually it has just duplicated this building here which we don't need. So we'll grab this clone stamp tool, press Alt from the keyboard and start and select some cloudy area by left clicking the mouse button. So it's simply pressing Alt and left mouse button and now simply drag on the area you don't need. Superb! Now save this file and let's get back in After Effects. Here we will first delete this duplicated layer and we'll go to file, import, file and we'll choose a recent PSD file. Import kind to footage, under layer options choose layer, clean BG. 
So let's take this inner composition. Now if we trim, it's some of the left part. It will look like this. First there's Eiffel Tower and it disappears. But if you see closely, you will see some people are walking, uh, these people, and also stop here, which we don't want. These people should continue their walk. Why stop? <laughs> so we'll select this clean background layer, get this pen tool, and make a selection on the top area. Good. Now hit F from the keyboard, make the feather value to 10 pixels. Superb. And now if you play our video, it's perfect. All the people are continuing their walk. A rough cut is ready. Now we'll add some effect on the Eiffel Tower. So we'll go to this jump cut point, jump cut frame. Uh, duplicate the background layer. Rename it to Morph. Now we'll go 4 frames back from this frame with page up button. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And here we'll press Alt plus left bracket to delete the left clip portion. And let's also trim the right portion. as we just need only these four frames. Now, using this pen tool, select the Eiffel Tower area. Hit F, make the feather to 20 pixels. Now here we will go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and add Directional Blur. Click on this Blur Length Stopwatch to add a keyframe on its first frame. Now go 3 frames ahead and turn the blur length value to 15. Superb! And now it's time to bring our green screen footage in our composition. First we'll hit T to open its opacity, make it 50% so that we are just able to see through. Now adjust its position by dragging it left or right to match the position. We'll go at the jump cuts point and see. Um, at the jump cuts point, the Eiffel Tower should be in the actor's hand. Perfect. Now turn back the opacity to 100%. Now go to effects, keying and key light. Simply remove the green screen. And to know more in detail about green screen techniques, I have made a tutorial Learn After Effects in just 40 minutes. Uh, link is in the description. Do have a look. So right now you can see the Eiffel Tower is in the frame throughout the video, which you actually don't want. So let's first remove it, again select this pen tool and make a mask around the actor. Superb! But now if we move forward, you will see her hand is also removed from the rest of the frames. So we just need her hand back, yes. And for that, we will duplicate this green screen footage layer. Rename it to Hand Roto. First delete the key light effect. Now hit M to delete its mask. Now we'll double click on it. Start selecting the hand part with the Roto Brush tool. We'll go frame by frame. And here, just make sure 
not to include the Eiffel Tower in this selection. We just want hands and some part of the arm. Nice. Now add this frame. When we just held the Eiffel Tower in our hand, here we will include here we will start including the Eiffel Tower also in our selection. Superb! Let's make the feather to 15 and let's get back in the main composition. Now pre-compose all these layers by right-clicking pre-compose and we'll add real camera shake effect to give a handheld look to our video and also we'll add the side boundaries superb and we are done so that's all for now guys I hope you guys have learned and enjoyed this cool technique of grabbing the Eiffel Tower and if you have any questions or suggestions, just write them below in the comment section. And until next time, take care.